today's video today's recipe is dedicated to that one very special person who has not only shared her blood her flesh but has abundantly inherited me with management skills organization skills cooking skills balancing home family life even without me asking her yes indeed it's my mother my mummy who has passed on to me lots of her qualities which i'm very much proud to have today with the whole world celebrating mother's day today is also akshay tritiya the day which is considered to be the golden day of the year eternal that never diminishes um, people tend to buy gold silver start up new ventures with the prime objective of growing uh, symbolizing prosperity and wealth today's akshay tritiya let's show and express our love to that person whom we are all blessed to have in our lives let's not just double it let's just multiply our love well we all love our moms of course we all love our moms but i think it's very important to express it as well at the same time right so i'm expressing my love to my mom by making her favorite recipe called amrut phala and to make this recipe i called up my dearest co sister veena belari who has been very helpful all the time any time of the day i call her and she's ready to share her recipes with me so thank you veena for sharing this wonderful recipe with me now amrut phala is very ancient recipe which has been faded away with the time is what i think and it's such a beautiful recipe which one has to try is what i think to begin making this recipe i have a pan which is heating up to this i'm going to add in some oil i'm going to splatter some mustard seeds Now I'm going to add in some cumin seeds, chana dal, urad dal, some curry leaves to this i'm going to add in some green chilies i've also got some onions which are diced i'm going to add some onions Now it's important to turn off the flame at this point because I don't want the onions to be softened now it's going to be cooked later so I'm going to turn off the flame now Now I have 1 cup of rice flour to this I'm going to add in 3 cups of buttermilk I'm using low fat yogurt because I need the sour yogurt so it's important to have the sour yogurt so I'm using low fat yogurt I have added the low fat yogurt and mixed in some water to get the flowing consistency. I've churned it up. So, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to measure it up into 3 cups. Right now that's all mixed and it's all ready. To this I'm going to add in some salt. Give it a good whisk once again. And then I'm going to keep this aside and then now this is going to be poured into the seasoning mix. I'm going to turn on the flame back. Right now I'm going to pour in the whole mixture. It 
it's very important to keep stirring on a low flame and making sure the whole thing is cooked and there are no lumps formed. It looks done to me and I'm going to turn off the flame. To plate this up, I'm going to use a thali or a plate and grease this up with clarified butter. I'm going to transfer the whole thing on this plate. And then flatten it up. garnish Amrit Pala, I am using freshly grated coconut and coriander and sprinkle it all over. Wasn't that simple and very easy? Amrut Pala is all ready with just a very few ingredients needed. And Amrut Pala is such an ancient recipe which has been faded away with the time. And I think it's time to get it back onto the kitchen menu. Wait, because this is so easy to make, you can actually have it onto your breakfast menu list or maybe as a super quick snack in the evenings. Or actually, shall I tell you, it could be added on to the dinner menu list when you have guests at home. So this needs to be tried by everybody is what I would suggest. So mom, this is for you. Happy Mother's Day. To be honest, I tried making this recipe for the very first time and it turned out to be so good. So thank you Veenaka once again. idea of making this recipe and serving this recipe just the way it is with no changes made with the time. Like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel.